guys, it's Lipstick Over 101, and today's video is going to be a Project Pan video. And for those of you who aren't familiar with Project Pan, it is basically a project where you go out into your makeup collection and try to finish as many products as you can or hit pan on them. And hitting pan on a product means when you've used it so much that you can see the silver part at the bottom or you can see literally the pan. In Project Pan, you can finish a product completely as well. That's the main goal, but hitting pan is also a huge success. Some people in their Project Pans stop buying makeup or cosmetics or any type of beauty product, but I personally, I don't really buy it often at all, really. So if I need something, I'll get it. That's the essential idea of Project Pan, and I'm just going to show you the products I selected. The first product I'm trying to finish is Julep's Glow on Age Defying Hand Brightener. This is basically a hand lotion or hand cream that's intended to brighten and even out your skin tone, combat dry, dull skin, and impart water-resistant, greasy softness. I use this only in the winter season, so last year when I tried to finish it, it did not work at all because it was already nearing the end of winter and it was just kind of pointless. So this season, I'm hoping I can finish it just by using it every morning and every night. And obviously, I don't need age-defying hand brighteners, but when you do use age-defying products before you actually start physically aging, they do prevent that. And I'm not looking to prevent that. I'm just looking to moisturize my hands. So I'm just letting you guys know because that's just an added benefit. Also, I thought a little fun twist to this project pan video would be adding my predictions to when I'm going to finish these products so it would be really cool to compare my predictions to the actual outcome. The next product is my Bath & Body Works Be Enchanted Body Butter, another product in my category of moisturizing products I guess and I really really like this. To me it smells like pomegranate but more like the sparkling cranberry aspect it mentions there. It is heavily moisturizing. I like to use this on my legs and whatever's left over that's kind of greasing my hands up I like to use that on my arms. This promises over 24 hours of nourishing moisture. I'm hoping I can finish it completely so that I can purchase a new smaller size body butter. I really want to try the body shop body butters, the mini ones. That's why I want to finish this product. The final product in the moisturizing category is my CND Sensations Hand and Body Dark Bergamot Scented Lotion. I put this in my pencil case for school. I prefer using it on my elbows and my hands in school if my hands feel dry. And this is already nearly halfway through. So I'm really excited about that because to be honest with you guys, I don't think I've ever actually finished any product. I've gotten close so that I just have no more motivation left. So... But now I do because I have some viewers and some subscribers and people who comment. So it's really exciting to have you guys motivate me. The fourth product is actually an exfoliant. And this is by The Body Shop and it is their Cocoa Butter Body Scrub. It's intended to moisturize very dry skin. Now I honestly barely exfoliate. When I do use this, I use this on my legs and arms. But I'm always really lazy and I feel like it's a big effort even though it really isn't and I can just use it in the shower. With exfoliants, you want to be very careful and never over exfoliate because you don't want your skin to become overly sensitive and in pain. So I'm going to aim for a realistic use of this product and that is going to be once a week on my arms and legs. The fifth product is my Garnier Fructis Triple Nutrition Nutrient Spray. This spray claims to have dual action and nourish and shine. It includes three essential oils. The sixth product I have is this mini fragrance mist by Bath & Body Works in the scent Country Chic. And the reason I really like this scent is because it smells like an actual kind of cologne perfume rather than a body spray that's either overly sweet or just overly childish kind. The seventh product I want to finish is the same thing but it's from the new line so once again it's from Bath and Body Works and it's their warm vanilla sugar three fluid ounce fragrance mist. It's a very pedestrian set for me. The final product I have in the fragrance category is Juicy Couture Eau de Parfume Spray and this is one fluid ounce and I was gifted this for my birthday. I just feel like the scent is a little bit too mature for me so I want to finish it so that I can find my own true scent. Perfume is a very personal thing so it's kind of a risk to give it to someone.
The ninth product is a hand sanitizer from Bath & Body Works, and it's called their Pocket Back Hand Sanitizer, and this is in the scent Vampire Blood, <laughs> but it just really means a plum scent. And Halloween has passed, but I still haven't finished it, so I think that's kind of crazy, so I really do want to finish it, and I only buy one of these at a time because I like to keep my collections of products as small as possible. And after this, I'm really excited to check out their Christmas scent. The final product is the product I'm most excited about because I've never finished a lip product ever in my entire life, which is so crazy because I do have a lot, in my opinion, for someone my age. And this is the Fresh Sugar Rose Tinted Lip Treatment, and it's really nice. I'm wearing it right now. This is a mini that I received from Sephora, and I really want to finish something, so I thought starting off with a mini would be... A little bit less challenging and more motivating for me to finish future lip products. If you want to know more about this product, you can watch my favorite fall lip products video, which you can click on right there, and you'll learn more about it as well as my other favorite fall lip products. Tell me if you guys are doing a product pan or if you want to do a mini project pan or even just finish one product. So let me know in the comments below. And if you do a video response, that would seriously make my day and be really cool. And let me know if you guys want to see Project Pin update videos separately from my monthly empties or incorporated into my monthly empties video. So, that's it, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Toodles.